Hey guys, it's Jane. It's not Friday, it's Saturday, but nevertheless, I'm here for a Friday read. So, um, it's been one of those weeks this week. Um, I've done a little bit of reading, um, but I feel slumpy. I think it's not the book so much as life. It's, it's actually quite bright this morning, but it's the middle of winter here. And it's been pretty ordinary weather most of the week. And that's bound to have some sort of effect on my uh, mood and state of mind. Um, but yeah, let me let me go through what I've read this week and then I'll talk about what I'm doing from here on in. I finished the Ian Rankin, Even Dogs on the Road. No, Even Dogs in the Wild. I, 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 I so cannot get that title correct can I? I on the on the pretty much the exact last page of the book they actually reveal what that title is in reference to it's the name of a song or something but it's not a song that I'm familiar with so it didn't really mean anything to me but um yeah I was actually a little disappointed with this I'm a big fan of Ian Rankin um this one <sighs> On paper, it seems to have all the right ingredients, but it felt the execution felt to me like a bit like going through the motions. The next book that I read after that was a, a much more um, enjoyable read. It was um, Michelle Baker's Borderline. This is one that I hadn't heard a huge amount about. It's a debut novel, and um, it it's um, uh, it was super fresh. I had a, had a very um, uh, interesting vibe. It's a it's a urban fantasy, I guess, um, but it's completely different to any of the others that I've ever read. So um, the setup is our, our central character ha has borderline personality disorder, which is where the title comes from, and she, and the story opens. She's um, in a psychiatric private psychiatric unit and has been there for uh, six months. Um, she's burning through her inheritance. Her mother died when she was very young and her father has recently died and so she's inherited a lot of money and basically she spent six months in hospital after a, an episode and, um, yeah, and she doesn't really have any plans for the future beyond just staying where she is. Um, when she is approached uh, um, by a recruitment agent for a... Um, a very odd sounding agency so it's sort of a charity agency who um, uh, fund the um, who, who hire and just sort of train and manage people with psychiatric illnesses um, to help them um, get work in the entertainment industry um, this is all happening in LA and and our central character was a promising filmmaker, young filmmaker, before her um, breakdown. So um, we, yeah, strange things happen and she ends up in this house full of other people with psychiatric disorders who are also part of this program and very quickly we discover that there's more going on here than meets the eye although even what met the eye was pretty weird the fairy world is involved and we have a pretty exciting adventure escape kind of action story um, with this extremely modely crew of um yeah, characters. I, I really enjoyed that. I thought it was, um, as I said, it was fresh. It was completely unlike anything I've read before and it was um, it was really well done. At the moment I'm reading um, Lauren Gilman's Silver on the Road. Um, I've read Lauren Gilman before with enjoyment. Um, this one is quite unlike anything of hers that I've read before though. Um, and again, it is quite uh, different to other things that I've read. I'm about two thirds of the way through. Um, it's it's set in an alternative pioneer sort of um, times uh, early America. Only it's not in America. The states are all to the east, um, and this is set in the territory. Um, and um, yeah, it's it's it opens with um, our main character. It's, it's on her sixteenth birthday. She was an indentured servant in a um, in a gambling house in a saloon, 
in a town called Flood um, and has lived basically her whole life there and, and her indenture lasts until her 16th birthday. And today is her 16th birthday and she needs to decide what she's going to do, whether she's going to um, uh, leave and make a life on her own or whether she's going to decide to stay and and um, negotiate her own sort of work in town or in the saloon. And she decides one thing and gets something different. And and as um, the pages turn, we discover that there's, again, more than meets the eye with this. Um, yeah, so... I am. I am. I'm really enjoying this one. When I when I finish it up, um, I'll be able to tell you a little bit more about it. Um, I also watched that movie during the week, Love and Friendship, the Whit Stillman movie based off of Lady Susan, and it was a hoot. I I really enjoyed it. It was it wasn't um, the best Jane Austen film that I've ever seen, and it wasn't the best Whit Stillman film that I've ever seen, but. Having with those two caveats, I can still say was it highly, highly enjoyable movie. Um, yeah, uh, the character of Lady Susan is hilarious, and um, there's one other character in it who's even funnier than her. Um, this completely idiotic guy. It, it's yeah, it was it was very very funny. Um, this one just turned three months old during the week, so oh, hello. So I thought he could make a little guest appearance today. Plus, you know, he was crying. So when I went to pick him up, I don't know what I'm going to be reading um, going forward once I finish Silver in the Road. As I said at the beginning, I'm feeling a bit blah at the moment. So I'm thinking maybe a reread of an old favourite uh, is um, is is it my alley. I I um I haven't been able to decide what that might be. There's some people I know who are doing a group read of um, Game of Thrones, so I'm wondering if maybe I should join in that. Um, for a while now I've been hankering to reread Infinite Jest, but that doesn't really seem to be the thing to do when you're not feeling so great. I don't know. Um, if anybody has some suggestions, I'd love to hear that. Um, and um, I'm going to wave goodbye now and then after I've done that I'm going to clip in a picture of the birthday cake. Um, those of you who regular, you know, regular um, watches of my videos will know that a couple of weeks ago um, I showed a, a birthday cake out of a book that I was going to make an attempt at and um, that happened last weekend and I'll show you how it turned out. Anyway, that's all from me. I hope you're all well and I'll talk to you later. Bye.